Hey creators and power users, Jeff Fagan here. Today I'm diving into one of the most powerful, future-ready pieces of gear I've tested in a long time. This is the Anchor TB5 docking station, and it's here to absolutely maximize your creativity. Before we jump in, this video is sponsored by Anchor. They sent over the docking station so I could test it and share my honest experiences with you. Everything you're about to see is based on real world use. And as always, my opinions are my own. Let me introduce you to the ultimate Thunderbolt 5 solution for the new M4 MacBooks in any new M4 Mac product. This is the Anchor Prime TB5 docking station. Thunderbolt 5 isn't just an upgrade, it's a full leap in bandwidth, speed, and display capabilities. Here's how it compares. If you're future-proofing your setup, Thunderbolt 5 is the only way to go. Search Anchor Prime TB5 to see what others are doing with it. The key features of this dock are fast file transfers, 150 gigabytes in 25 seconds with a Thunderbolt 5 SSD, dual displays in high resolution, charging MacBook Pros at 140 watts, 14-in-1 I.O. with 2.5 gigabit Ethernet and 2.1 HDMI and 2.1 DP. SD in micro SD slots. PAN power integration. Sleek compact build versus a bulky TS4 adapter. And get this, the dock features a built-in cooling fan that stays whisper quiet even under full load. With an intelligent temperature control algorithm, fan speeds adjust dynamically based on the temperature and power draw. That means silent operation without performance throttling, even when you're pushing your system to the max. For this review, I used my 14-inch MacBook Pro M3 Pro and my M4 Mac Mini with multiple monitors, one through the HDMI and one through the Thunderbolt port, and a Thunderbolt 4 SSD from OWC. The USB-A ports powered my legacy drives, and the SD card slots made for really easy footage transfers from my Osmo Pocket 3 and my Sony FX30. This setup handled everything from my raw video editing to color grading and light gaming. Thunderbolt 5 is backward compatible, so it works flawlessly with Thunderbolt 4 gear. Using this dock simplified my entire workflow. Now one cable turns my entire MacBook or computer into a fully powered desktop, charging all accessories, displays, and doing everything from one connection. Now please note, if you're using a Thunderbolt 4 laptop such as the M3 Pro and a Thunderbolt 4 SSD like the one from OWC, it's not possible to achieve 150 gigabyte file transfers in 25 seconds. And I just want to make that clear because that is Thunderbolt 4 speeds. That level of performance is going to be achievable when using an M4 Pro or Max machine with Thunderbolt 5 ports. Also, please take a look at Anchor's compatibility chart, especially the Mac OS section. The actual performance is going to vary depending on the specific Mac model you use. To achieve the full performance, all three conditions must be met. The laptop must have a Thunderbolt 5 port, the cable used must be a Thunderbolt 5 cable, and the SSD must also be a Thunderbolt 5 SSD. It's challenge time. I've got the Anchor Prime TB5 mystery box, and how much value can I get out of this thing? Let's see if it's worth the hype. The design of this box is inspired by the Anchor Prime TB5 dock. All the items are compatible with Apple devices. Examples of some of the products are the Anchor 547 USB-C hub, the Anchor 551 USB tablet stand, a MagGo USB-C adapter, Anchor HDMI switch, and the Anchor 310 HDMI adapter. This is one of the devices I was most excited about because it can power my laptop extremely quick. You can get the Anchor Prime TB5 mystery box for free in two ways. First, buy the Anchor Prime TB5 dock and enter your order number in the online quiz. Second is engage on Anchor's official social media and you might be selected. Click the link in the description below for more details and to join the giveaway. If this video helped you out, hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell for more deep dive gear reviews and comment below what's the one item you'd want to own from this mystery box. Until next time, my name's Jeff Fagan. Thank you for joining me as always and I will catch you in the next video.